Monday afternoon featured a lot of hot weather across the wiregrass. We had some showers roll through that helped to cool off the eastern part of the area, but then Dothan, Enterprise, and through Daleville and Clay Hatchie saw some pretty heavy rain a little bit earlier this evening. Here's the view in West Dothan. This was captured by Jonathan Mitchell earlier this evening, just before sunset. Dark clouds out there. More weather like that is expected over the next several days as we get the intense afternoon heating. And then after that, we'll have some thunderstorms rolling through. And some will have the chance to be strong, but widespread severe weather is not expected. Just some gusty winds like we had for today. A lot of lightning associated with what we did have, but largely clearing out across the wire grass. So a little bit of activity on the Georgia side, drifting into the panhandle, but off to the north, what we were tracking near Columbus, that's also dying off as well. So it'll be mostly dry as we do head into the overnight hours. Staying pretty warm, though. We're in the 70s for most locations now, 74 degrees for you fall. We're in the cooler spots, 76 degrees here in Dothan. Most of us will be waking up to mid-70s for low temperatures Tuesday. And then those highs will be climbing pretty quickly into the mid and upper 90s. Some afternoon showers and storms will help to cool conditions off a bit, but we're going to be left with the humidity. So even after the rain, it's still going to be feeling pretty hot out there as far as the heat index temperatures. We actually do have a heat advisory in place for Pike and Barber counties for tomorrow morning through the early evening uh, for those heat index temperatures over 105 degrees. That's the kind of heat that could be very dangerous if you don't stay hydrated and take plenty of breaks. And that's going to be in the forecast for the rest of the work week and into the weekend as well. So it's like a never ending hot period, but we'll see some changes as we head into next week with some uh, slightly higher rain chances for us. Across the southeast, high pressure is still in control down to our south. That's going to be bringing all the moisture that we need for those showers and storms to develop, but that high pressure being just to our south, there's a lot of sinking air with that, and sinking air is able to heat up pretty quickly. So that's where we are going to be dealing with those temperatures in the middle 90s for most locations for tomorrow. After lunchtime, that's when our rain chances will begin to pick up across the wire grass as we head into the evening hours dying off after we lose the daytime heating. And then as we head into Wednesday, similar conditions starting out dry, mix of sun and clouds early on. And then after lunchtime, we'll get that flow off the Gulf of Mexico, bringing us those showers and storms with the intense heat before those storms do develop. Closer to home for tonight, we're going to be waking up with those temperatures in the 70s by tomorrow morning. I think the model is cooling off a little bit more than where we will be in reality, but then as we warm up in the afternoon, that's when those showers and storms will be moving through the area. Widespread severe weather is not expected, but some storms might be able to produce some gusty winds each afternoon with those uh, afternoon temperatures in the lower to middle 90s each day. So certainly something to look out for and certainly might keep an eye to the sky mm -hmm. if you are going to be outdoors. 